Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. In this chapter, we talk about the work and energy. In this problem, you can see you can see we have a square, ten meter times twenty meter square, right? Then we need to we act a force on this little uh mover, and make it to cover every corner of this everywhere of the square. So maybe this mover will move this way, this way, this way, this way. No matter how it moves, so you can see, uh, the distance it moved, just uh, what? So this we can see the square it must equal. So for this square, for this square the area is ten meter times twenty meter. Agree, ten meter times twenty meter for this area for this, this large square. And then we look at the mover. The mover the area is zero point five meter. Then times must times this length, and this length is just how much the mover moved, and then we consider the whole picture. So this distance, so this distance plus this distance plus next distance plus next distance is just exactly the distance displacement. The distance this mover moves. Do you agree? And so this is just the d we want to find, and everywhere is the force. And then the d at the same direction, so this cosine theta is one, theta is zero, and also this force is given fifteen newtons. In this way, you can say when we want to find the work, the work is f d cosine theta, theta is zero, so it become f and d. F is given, and d we can get it from this equation, right? Because we must make sure the area is equal. In this way, after we put the numbers inside, we get the final answer. Thank you.